Namaste everyone, it's Ravindra from Focuses and I'm gonna teach you step by step Windows installation on C drive with the help of pen drive. So what we are going to do is we are going to make our pen drive bootable first which will have Windows 10 in it and we are going to format our C drive and install in it. So if you have any important data in C drive, you can either move to the hard drive or move to the D drive because in this process we will not be touching our D drive. If you want clean installation of windows i'll also tell that in the way so first of all let's download windows 10 so the only way to download the genuine windows 10 is of course going to microsoft website windows 10 download and go to the first link which is microsoft.com of course and you will see the screen like this we are not going to update now so here is the windows 10 installation media it says download the tool now believe me when I tried this, it took me so long time to download Windows and make our pen drive bootable. So I'm just going to teach you the faster way of making our pen drive bootable. So if you want to do that, you can of course do it. But when I did that, it wasn't a great experience. So to download the Windows 10 ISO file directly, you can download it from mobile version. I'm just going to show the way to access the mobile site. So right click in the page, go to inspect. And here is all the codes, but we don't need this. So just look here, which has the icon of like tablet and mobile. Just click there, just reload it, close this. So once you do that, the option here is changed. So the layout here is changed. It no longer has the download tool button. So just go to the select edition now, and here will be the Windows 10 and confirm it. It will validate the request and you need to choose the language i'm gonna choose english and confirm it so depending upon your computer architecture download 32 bit windows or 62 bit windows my device architecture is 64 bit so i'm just going to download 64 bit so here is the windows 10 download it is about 4.4 gigabytes so it might take some time so we have downloaded our ISO file so in order to make it bootable you need a small software known as Rufus just source it go to this site and this is our software which we are going to use here is download so it's just 1 MB the latest version is a Rufus 3.3 so just click there and it will be downloaded once it has been downloaded then just click the setup file and install the software so our Rufus software looks like this now connect your pen drive so you need to select your pen drive name. I just connected to this USB. I want to make it bootable, so I'll leave it right there. So here you need to select that ISO file which you have downloaded. It is probably in your download folders. So just hit select and go to go to your download folder and select the ISO you just downloaded. So your partition scheme will either be GPT or MBR. So to select the partition scheme you need to check what kind of partition scheme you have first so just go to this partition right here and right click in it and go to properties once you are in properties then volume and look for the look for the partition style it is gpt or mbr so select the partition scheme to gpt or mbr whichever you have in the volume there so you can also rename the volume level you can just name it whatever you want then you need to hit start once you hit start there will be a warning saying all the data in so all the data in the pen drive will be deleted so if you have important data in your pen drive just move it somewhere else and you can make your pen drive bootable so that's how you make the pen drive bootable now since we have made our pen drive bootable connect this pen drive to your computer and sort it down now since our computer is turned off now we need to turn on our computer uh, depending upon your computer you can have different key to enter bios i have a dell laptop that's why my bios key is f2 so i'm just going to turn it on and click f2 several times I am in now BIOS. So let's enter to USB 
and as soon as you enter the USB then your your Windows boot will be loading just like this now you can wait and relax you have a blue screen here and <clears throat> now you need to give the information here language to install I'll keep it English time and current format I'll keep this in United States that's okay uh, keyboard or input method will also be US that's okay so I'm just going to hit next we are going to install the windows that's why we install now our setup is starting now now windows setup will appear here if you want to read this all license from then you can read it but i'm not just gonna do that so i'll just accept it and hit next once you are here it will ask which type of installation do you want you want to upgrade that means windows uh, install windows and keep file settings and application all of those things uh, and custom install is install windows only advanced so we are going to custom install windows so i'm just going to click here now here is our disk remember i had two partition drive c and drive d but here it has shown three partition but the thing is first partition will always be system reserved second one is my c drive and third one is my d drive so what we are going to do is format the c drive which is drive 0 partition 2 my d drive which have data in it I just don't want to delete it so I'm just not going to format it so what we are going to do is uh, format this so to format it just click here and press ok wait for some time now my free space is almost same as the total size that means my drive has been formatted successfully now our C drive is formatted successfully now to install windows now I want to install in this partition 2 which is my C drive so I'm just going to hit next now this windows will pop up it's it will take some time guys so you can just relax and make a coffee drink it or whatever you want to do so I'll be back when it finishes installing windows now once it is finished the new computer can restart several times don't worry it's normal it is starting services now and it says getting devices ready black screens can appear several times it's quite normal so don't worry about that also Now once the restarting and all of those black screens have finished then our blue windows will appear saying just a moment. And Cortana will a appear. Line in here, a touch of Wi Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. Now we need to answer the question of Cortana. And now Cortana will. Now Cortana has appeared, and now we have to answer the question of the Cortana. I'm just saying I'm just clicking here yes you can either click yes or you can also use Your voice command is set to US. Wanna stick with that? yes do you also type with another keyboard layout yes which language do you want to use for your second keyboard layout I'm in Nepal so I'm just going to use Nepali I'm just going to select Nepali so I'm just looking for 
so here is uh, nepali nepal so i'm just going to click that nepali keyboard also you can also click on your original keyboard so windows will automatically add that one so i'm just using us us keyboard and nepal keep nepali keyboard so i'm just going to hit your next which keyboard layout do you want to add nepali i've thought that you want to use nepali is that right yes so you can connect to the you can connect to the network also now click next now we have some important setup to do now it will take some time now it asks for microsoft account you can give your microsoft account and its password but i'm not giving my microsoft account and password to, right now so i'm just going to create an offline account click no i'm just going to name this pc robindra and hit next i'm going to give its password every time you open your computer you need to give this password so i'm just going to give the password for my computer now and i'm good to go so i'll hit next again it says confirm the password so i'm just going to confirm it and hit next there are different questions here now i'm just going to choose one question i'm just going to give i don't know what my childhood nickname was so i'm i'm just going to write i don't know maybe robin so i'll hit next and I need to give another answer too. Once you have done that, it will ask for making Kotana your personal assistant. If you want, click yes. If you don't want, click no. I want to click yes for now. Now here are privacy settings for your device. So you just read this information carefully and give access to Microsoft or not. Once you guys have done finishing this, you need to click accept here and wait. Now it says almost done and it is saying hi. Now all this message will appear that means our windows installation is almost complete. Now as it said it can take several minutes so just wait and they have shown the message don't run off your PC. Since it is in the last stage of installation don't run off your personal computer. Now our Windows 10 installation have been completed. Now here is Microsoft Edge. But our display here looks quite unnatural because our display drivers have not been updated yet. So it can take some time. It is saying searching for display driver. It will search for display driver and download it automatically. Then you need to restart the computer. Then our screen will be in, in the perfect resolution. Now as you guys can see this is C drive where windows has been installed but my but my pen drive has been named to D drive and my new volume which actually was D drive earlier on it shows volume E right here. So if I look into here I already have my data all my data here it is untouched. The only thing it has done is it has formatted our C drive and installed the new windows in it. Let's say I just don't want volume E right here so I need volume D which was as previous before so for that you need to go to you need to go to computer management and click it once you have done that then you need to go to disk management right here and here is our e drive so just right click in it and click here in change drive letter and paths click here so i just don't want that so i'm just going to click here in change and i want to assign it d drive so press ok press yes then if you go into this pc right here then it is d drive which is as earlier so i'm just going to go here all my files are here no problem so this is how you install windows 10 in c drive without 
having to have touch our other drives. Now thank you for watching guys. If you guys encounter any problem regarding this video then just comment down below. I promise you guys I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So stay safe, stay healthy, happy learning. Goodbye everybody. See you in the next video.